<laughs> hey folks all right so we're back and i broke out my national resonator which is my main instrument of warfare typically when i am gigging uh, as i play a lot solo a lot of slide and uh whatnot anyway so one thing i like to do is i'll run through an amplifier even though i'm playing acoustic and this amp will do both clean and dirty uh very easily. So the controls right now, it's still set on the low wattage setting, which is 12 watts, I believe. Um, and I've got the got the volume at about 10 o'clock, which is about what we had it for the earlier earlier demonstrations. And the tone knobs are all set to about two ish. So that's the high, mids, and lows, all about two o'clock. And uh, one thing you'll notice as you work the knobs, if you if you turn the high frequencies, if you turn the the high tone control. Uh, up, um, it's very interactive with the other controls. So uh, it's not like what I'm used to on, say, a super reverb or a twin, where the highs just come up and the the, the lows and mids uh, sort of stay where they're at. Uh, everything sort of interacts more with this amplifier. So here's here's a. Uh So that's clean, and if I roll the volume up, that's to about noon. Ooh. A little shy of noon. So you see that's just going from 10 to about 11 on the overall volume. And it's a huge difference in the gain and harmonic content. So there you got Elmore James. All with a little tweak of one volume control. Anyway, so once again, super versatile, and it sounds great with an acoustic instrument. And it sounds great with Strat. Can't beat it. Hi, I'm Mr. Mike, and I'm back. And um, we've done all around the world with the uh, Copperhead 1950. So I thought I'd show you another facet of it. And this is, um, it's... It's jazz capabilities. It has a very, very beautiful, smooth sound. I have it set on tweed right now because I think it's a little richer harmonically. And even if the amp should distort a little bit on the bottom end, it's not objectionable. And I don't think it's really even detectable to the human ear because it's so smooth overall. So let me just give you an example of what this guy sounds like on this nice... throughout the spectrum. You say, but Mike, what about single notes? 
Are they still rich and pure and full throughout the range? Well, let's just see something like... <laughs> unpleasant harmonics that you hear in a lot of other amplifiers. If you're doing something a little more like uh, something kind of dead thumbish, like... strings. It's very nice. They all blend even on something like that. thing before I go. How about if I was to play a melody on the top string and I play chords in the middle of the guitar and I play a nice little samba bass line on the bottom. Now on a lot of amplifiers in a lot of situations these notes will seem to fight harmonically and kind of take away what you're trying to accomplish. This amp makes them all work like a symphony, for lack of a better word. I'll see if you agree. Mm -hmm. 